What's up, everybody? Welcome to Gump Nation with your boy, Kangaroo Black. And here at Gump Nation, there's always something to talk about when it's concerning my Alabama Crimson Tide. And today, we're going to talk about Coach Kalen DeBoer and former head coach Nick Saban. Coach Kalen DeBoer finally talked about how much of a resource that Nick Saban has been for him and his staff. All right. Coach Kalen DeBoer is finally speaking on this. And maybe now all the haters, naysayers, and non-believers will shut the hell up about Coach Kalen DeBoer using Nick Saban as an advisor. Okay? Nick Saban is not trying to be the head coach of Alabama. He's not trying to be any type of coach for the university of Alabama. He done done his time, all right? He done brought Alabama six national championships and about 10 SEC championships. We are more than grateful for Nick Saban. But just because he retired, he want to continue being around the program. And he's the GOAT. Why not? That's all I got to say about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, talk about Coach Kalen DeBoer and what he had to say about Nick Saban being around the program, being there for him and his staff as an advisor. Okay, so let's bring this up. Okay, Kalen DeBoer opens up on how much of a resource Nick Saban has been for him and his him at Alabama, him and his staff, basically. But anyway. When Alabama head coach Kalen DeBoer took over the Crimson Tide program, he vowed to regularly rely on Nick Saban for advice. I told you he said that from day one, his first press conference. So this should not be a surprise to anybody. Nobody should be saying that Nick Saban is meddling in Alabama's business. Nobody. When this guy, head coach, Kalen DeBoer told you from the jump that he was going to be relying on Coach Nick Saban for advice. But we'll just say AZ Sports writers, Tennessee Sports Outlet, you know, want to paint a negative picture to fit their narrative. That's what they want to do. Just like every other college football program, college football fan, college football coach, they want Nick Saban gone away from the University of Alabama. But guess what? Nick Saban ain't going nowhere. He's still there. He's just not the head coach. But anyway, and uh, it also says a little more than a month into his tenure as the Alabama head coach, that has indeed been the case. Uh, DeBoer was on McElroy and Kubelik in the morning, and share what his relationship with Nick Saban has been thus far. Thus far, okay? And he said, it's been great. I think there's been one time he hasn't picked up the phone, and about five minutes later, he called me back. He's just been amazing. What great words to say about the great one, Nick Saban. Okay, he told you he was going to be seeking his advice, and that's what he's doing. It's not Nick Saban calling Kaylin DeBoer is Kaylin DeBoer calling Nick Saban. That's how it's supposed to be. Nick Saban is letting Kaylin DeBoer and the rest of the Alabama staff do their thing at Alabama. But if Kaylin DeBoer or anybody on the staff and, or any player needs some advice from Nick Saban, he's there for him. Just a phone call away. Just been amazing. Mm, mm, mm. Coach Kevin DeBoer is the only Alabama coach who uses Saban as a resource. Assistant coaches, including defensive coordinator Kane Womack, has reached out to Saban too, and we all know that. Public information, you know, that uh, Coach Kane Womack, defense coordinator, has had two meetings already with, uh, with Coach uh, with former coach Nick Saban. Already trying to, you know, pick his mind, man. Pick his mind. Hey, how? why did you do this? How did you do that? What do you think will work best here? But in the haters, dollars and naysayers' mind, 
He going into Nick Saban trying to emulate Nick Saban's defense. No, haters, you are wrong. You are wrong. He's getting little, little, he's getting the advice of Nick Saban. All right. Wondering why did he do this and why did he do that? You know, how did this work out? So he he can implement some of those things into his defensive scheme. That's what that is. Nick Saban ran a three-four. This man is running a five. Five two, I mean a, a, a four two five. Now he may implement some of the three four, some of the things that Nick Saban ran in a three four defense in his uh, defensive scheme. But hey, why not? You you getting this from the greatest coach of all time? Why not? But anyway, so y'all stop trying to paint this uh, false narrative of Nick Saban, Coach Kalen DeBoer. Uh, 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 Coach Kane, Kane Womack, basically this, this whole Alabama staff, so you're trying to put them in a negative light because they seek the advice of Nick Saban. What coach wouldn't want to seek the advice of Nick Saban? I'm sorry that your organization can't keep can't seek seek out uh, Nick Saban. No, nobody close to him. So hey, just deal with it. Deal with. With, with, with Coach Caleb DeBoer and what he's about to bring to Alabama SEC football. I'm trying to tell y'all, Alabama ain't going nowhere, just like Nick Saban ain't going nowhere yet. But let's uh, keep it moving. Anyway, uh, where I was at? Right here. Okay, not just for me. This coming from uh, Coach uh, Kaylin DeBoer, but he says, not just for me, but I know Kane Woman and the defensive staff are excited about having continued conversation, just talking ball. We have great coaches on our staff, but you can't help but to utilize the resources and Coach Saban. Yes, Coach Saban is a resource for Alabama now, for Coach uh, 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 Kaylin DeBoer, Kane Womack, and the whole entire staff and the players. He's a resource for them. So just like every other coaching staff or whoever used the resources that's available to them, that is what Coach Kalen DeBoer and his staff is doing, only using the resource that is available, that is available to them. Sorry, y'all, this resource ain't available to y'all team. Don't hate Alabama or Coach Kalen DeBoer for using the resources that he have available. Your team do it. But anyway, it's just haters. But anyway, uh, Coach Caden DeBoer also shared what exactly he and Saban have talked about thus far. The two have covered a variety of topics when it comes to running a program and will continue to do in that co- in, a, in the coming months. They're going to continue to have conversations. So y'all can continue to hate as these articles come out. You can continue to hate. You can continue to paint your false narrative about Coach uh, Kalen DeBoer, Nick Saban, Coach Womack, and whoever else is on the staff. Continue to, uh, you know, paint this negative picture. But guess what? It's going to be negative for y'all if you run up against Alabama Crimson Tide on the coach Kalen DeBoer. I can tell you that much because Alabama ain't going nowhere. Alabama going to continue to do Alabama things. You can believe that, and that ain't nothing but win. But this is what they uh, talked about, basically. Coach uh, Kalen DeBoer, once again, I think a lot of the conversations have been me understanding who's here, how things have been done, any courses that pop up just hollering his way. And I think as uh, we go uh, through the next couple of months, we'll continue to have more of those questions just on, hey, what's the best way? Why do you uh, think this way? Why was this practice set up this way? There's just little things that we were uh, maybe that there there were just little things that were maybe done a different way. You pick up the phone and reach out, and he's been nothing but great giving his perspective on all of it, all of it. So he gave y'all what they talked about, the questions that, that he has. Uh, Why do you think this way? You know, he's giving you the answers. Why was this practice set up this way? Maybe I'm going to set it up this way. This is the way I've been doing it. 
Why did you do it the way you do? And he can take some of those things Nick Saban tell him and implement it in his practice. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, things was done a different. I'm sure things was done very different at Alabama than they was at Washington. So he want to know, hey, why you did it that way? You know, well, you can, he can tell him, well, I did it this way and I think this way is best. So I'm going to keep what I'm doing. All right. So, hey, it is what it is. Hate us. Hate us. Please. Please. Stop hating on Coach Kalen DeBoer. Stop hating on this Alabama staff. Stop hating on Nick Saban. If you paid a little more attention to what your program is doing, maybe you will have more of an insight or an idea on how your team is going to be heading into 2024. Okay, and I know all eyes is going to be on Alabama during the spring. All eyes, all right, especially April 13th, 3 p.m. Everybody's eyes will be glued to the Alabama A-Day game. They want to see what this uh, version of the Alabama Crimson Tide will look like on the Coach Kalen DeBoer. I guarantee it. I'm sure it's other programs that have in their spring game on the same day, probably the same time. But I guarantee you, most of their fans, whoever it may be, will be tuned in to the to Alabama. Guarantee you, their spring game. Guarantee you, because they want to see what Alabama is going to look like on the coach Kayla DeBoer. Even though you can't take too much from a damn uh, uh, spring game. Last season, they was talking about how Jalen Milrow and the Alabama Crimson Tide looked during the spring game, talking mad trash, talking a whole lot of negative trash about Alabama after the spring game. And lo and behold, Alabama came in and won the SEC championship and had an appearance in the playoff. That's that's You can't take much from spring games. But guarantee you, April 13th, Everybody's eyes gonna be glued on the Alabama spring game. No ands, no ifs, no buts about it. And I'm glad that Coach Kayla DeBoer came out and spoke about this. And now maybe, maybe some of the of the false narrative, the negative narrative that these sports outlets has been putting out about Coach uh Kayla DeBoer and Kane Womack and Nick Saban, uh, entire Alabama staff. Maybe that will cease to a point or at least slow down. But I'm sure, I am positively sure that it's going to be a sports outlet that's going to take Coach Caleb DeBoer's words and switch them around to try to fit their narrative. And I'm talking solely about AZ Sports, Tennessee Volunteers Sports Outlet. I can guarantee it. Give it at least till what's Friday is Friday. Give it to Sunday, maybe Monday. You will see an article from AZ Sports taking uh, Coach Kalen DeBoer's words and switch them around to to to, to you, you know to fit their narrative. Guarantee it. But hey, it is what it is. That's what haters do. That's what they do. But I like I said last night, Tennessee Volunteers fans or anybody that's got any dealings with the Tennessee with Tennessee Volunteers football, they scared to death of Alabama on the Kane on the on the coach Kalen DeBoer. They scared to death of along with a lot of other uh programs and their fans. And why wouldn't you be scared about it? Scared of Alabama? Why wouldn't you be nervous about Alabama? Why wouldn't Alabama been on your mind? Be on your mind. Why wouldn't they? I tell you, I tell you why they would. Just think about what they've done to you in the past. Just think about it. Just think about it. All right. And it's that same thing that you think about going to continue in the future. Just under a new commander in chief. That's all. But guess what? You got the old commander in chief as the advisor. And I am sure. Coach Nick Saban, former coach Nick Saban, will not steer Coach Kalen DeBoer in the wrong direction. 
Coach, Coach, former coach Nick Saban loves himself some Alabama Crimson Tide football. He loves it. So, hey, it is what it is. And just like I said, my Alabama Crimson Tide is going to continue to be Alabama, and my Alabama Crimson Tide is going to continue to do Alabama Crimson Tide things. And that is win. Molly walk everybody they face, beat the brakes off you, whatever you want to call it, that's what's going to happen on the coach, Kalen DeBoer. Hell, it might be worse on the him than it was from Nick Say. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is, man. So, uh, everybody out there, y'all have a good weekend. And keep my Alabama Crimson Tide name out your mouth. Roll damn tie.